Hello everyone, welcome to Jumperman Tech and today I'm going to be installing a Boss Audio System doubled in touchscreen radio model number BVB9364RC and let's get started This package does include a mini rear view camera but I will be installing that in a separate video just for the sake of keeping this video as short as possible. So I searched up the year, make, and model for my vehicle, and I picked up a double DIN dash kit, as well as a radio wiring harness. So here's the dash kit. Comes with three pieces, one right piece, one left piece, and a little filler. And the idea here would be take one side, match it up, line it up with the screws, have this side flat, and the same idea with the right side. You line those up, screw it down, and this will be able to pop right into your dash. Use the filler if you need that space. This kit actually came with two brackets, so you can use these, but I'm going to go with the metric kit that I bought separately. So we got our kit mounted. Here's a quick back view. So here's my original radio. This is supposed to be a little eject button, but that doesn't even come out. Honestly, I could probably take, just take this whole thing out with my hands. So I could just take this. There we go. Whole thing is out just like that. You wonder why people's radios used to go missing so quickly back in the day, huh? <laughs> Alright. So the radio is now free. Here's a quick look at what's behind here. So here's our wiring harness. This is the power that feeds this radio. Let's see, I'm doing this with one hand. So right there, it's disconnected. This comes with the radio. I have some left and right output as well as an antenna back here. So we're gonna disconnect everything and we're gonna transfer everything over to the new radio. All right, so the old radio is taken out. And this is all that's left. A bunch of wires, a confusing mess. Let's get it sorted out. So here's the power harness that came with the radio. Everything is labeled. This just simply can go in one way. Right there you hear the click and you're connected. All right. Next, this is the next radio wiring harness I got from Metra. On the wire itself, it's hard to can't see it from the video, but on the wire itself, it's labeled. Everything is labeled as well. So I'm just gonna match those up, and from there, this side is gonna get, get connected to the wiring harness that comes from the car. from the car you can see is this one right here this comes from the car get rid of this harness use this one so here's the harness that comes from the car I've already hooked up our radio harness here's our connection here's our wires next we have our radio and these are our connections and uh, figure out who's who and mash them up. All right, so the way this will be wired is, so coming from the wiring harness from the car, uh, if we read the wire itself, it says left rear positive, and all you're gonna do is match that up with the wiring harness that comes from the radio. So right here is our rear left positive. So we know those go together. It's a little backwards, really, because this wire says left rear positive, and on a radio, it's rear left positive. But we know that's the same thing. So that's the way it will be connected. For the sake of testing, I'll make to make quick connections. Uh, for the video, I'm just gonna put these wires together and wire nut them. So here's our old wiring harness, got rid of it. I do have this one wire connected here, but just ignore that. So that's for a subwoofer system. And 
let's ignore these also this is for an amp uh, there's no longer a sub here so we're not going to use that for this video here's all my new connections okay uh, down here that's our antenna and if we look here we see a USB connection female and we have a microphone connection and this unit did come with a microphone here's the mic we have an aux cord connection and that just simply hooks up right here you can run that along mount it where you want and so now we're all wired up and uh, let's see we, let's test it out all right so I'm gonna start the car and uh, let's see what happens Alright, so I installed the DVD and for some reason I'm getting this message driving while watching is not permitted. Definitely do not recommend doing that, but for a passenger I would definitely like them to watch a DVD. It's definitely relaxing. And what I found is if you take the brake wire that comes from the radio, if you ground that to metal, it will receive an image. And I'll show you that. So here's our message. And if we look closely here, this wire labeled as brake, if we ground that to metal, we're going to get an image. So right there, we have no image. I will now ground it. And there you have it. <laughs> if anybody found this video helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time.